Recurrent urinary tract infections are a very, very common problem in, in the young, in the old, in women, um, more commonly than men. And they cause a lot of um, worry and a lot of discomfort. And I'm here today to talk to you about the reasons that they happen and some strategies that we can use to help you prevent getting them and hopefully allay some of your fears. Um, what is a urinary tract infection? A urinary tract infection is a catch-all term that refers to an infection with a bacteria that's somewhere between the top of the urinary tract to the bottom. Um, urinary tract infections include uh, kidney infections. They include bladder infections, which is called cystitis. In men, it can include prost uh, prostate infections, prostatitis. And um, uh, the differences are if you have a kidney infection, usually it's a bacteria that ascended from the bladder into the kidney, and they tend to be a bit more serious. Um, now, uh, approximately 30% of people uh, will have a problem with uh, recurrent urinary tract infections in their lifetime. And at least 50% of people, 50% of women at some point of their life will be troubled by a, a simple bladder infection. So if you're having bladder infections over and over again, um, you're definitely not alone. They're very, very, very common. Um, now, uh, oftentimes uh, women wonder why these are happening to themselves and why these are happening to them, and they'd like to have some strategies to prevent this, and we can talk about that. Well, what is a bladder infection or a kidney infection or a urinary tract infection? How do you know you have it? Well, the way we test for it, uh, the first thing that happens is we have you give us a urine specimen, and we, look, we use a little dipstick to dip it into the urine and see if there's some things on it that are suspicious for a urinary tract infection. If it looks abnormal, what we end up doing is looking at that urine under the microscope and see if there's any bacteria. If there's bacteria, then we will send it to the lab, and the lab will grow it, and this is called a culture. Now, uh, urine cultures, as far as um, urinary tract infections, are extremely important. And the reason they're important is because that's how we figure out, first of all, whether or not you have an infection. And if you do have an infection, why, uh, what kind of bacteria it is. Uh, in the olden days, uh, uh, urinary tract infections like now were very common. And, but the difference was is there wasn't much resistance to antibiotics going on. And so in the olden days, if you went into your doctor and you had a bladder infection, he would give you a course of amoxicillin or a sulfa drug and two days later you would be perfect. Nowadays there's so much resistance to bacteria or so much resistance to antibiotics from the bacteria that, um, that you can't be sure that any one antibiotic is going to kill any infection. And so a culture is extremely important to see whether or not you have an infection. And so this is the first thing we do. Uh, if the cultures are positive over and over and over again, it gives us an idea of what's going on. Now, um, there are a couple things that you can have with uh, recurrent infections. What is recurrent infections? Well, uh, recurrent infections are characterized as more than two bladder infections in a three-month period or more than three bladder infections over a year. Uh, there are people who come in um, with an infection once a year, once every two or three years, but there are also people who come in very commonly with an infection every single month. And as you can imagine, this is very worrisome to people. Uh, they're worried there's something wrong with them. They're worried they're doing something wrong. They're worried they're not clean, and there's all kinds of things we can do to help you. Well, the first thing we want to make sure is that there's two problems that can happen with recurrent urinary tract infection. One is um, a problem called reinfection, and the other is a problem called relapse. Um, what will happen uh, whenever we do a culture on the bacteria, sometimes what we find is we find the same bacteria over and over and over again. And the reason we do a culture is because oftentimes if you get the inappropriate antibiotic, the infection will never go away. It may be slightly stunned by the antibiotics, but it'll tend to come right back again. And so that's why the culture is so important. And that's called a, um, a relapse. Now, sometimes what will happen is uh, you'll take the antibiotic and you'll feel fine for two or three weeks, and all of a sudden it'll come back again. And we check the urine again. It may be the same bacteria. It may be a different one. But these are two different problems. It is something that we like to check out. Now, what kind of symptoms do you have with the urinary tract infection? Um, some people have many symptoms, and some people have no symptoms at all. And the symptoms that people tend to have depend on the bacteria that they're infected with and where they are. Um, here's the model you see of the urinary tract. Um, the urinary tract consists of the kidneys, the ureters, uh, and the bladder. 
The ureters are the little tubes that carry the urine between the kidney and the bladder, and those typically don't get infected. And then you see down at the bottom of the bladder, if you're a man, that's where your prostate is. And in men especially, um, uh, infections can be a big problem because bacteria can get into the prostate gland and be hard to get rid of. Um, in general, bladder infections are limited to just the inside lining of the bladder. In general, they don't cause a lot of systemic symptoms. In general, what a bladder infection will cause is frequency, urgency, pressure, pain, burning with urination. But there are some people who have frequency and urgency and no burning. There's people who have pain but no frequency and urgency. And it's not at all uncommon to have people come in and not even know that they have bacteria in the urine. And uh, that is not at all uncommon. Now, we think what happens in some people, for whatever reason, uh, the bacteria are able to ascend from the bladder into the kidney, and when that happens, they develop a condition called pyelonephritis. Pyelonephritis is also a kidney infection, and this can be very serious uh, because whereas in the urinary tract, the infection just pretty much stays just in the bladder and uh, you know, can give you a lot of local symptoms, when you have a kidney infection, it can actually get deep into the uh, tissue of the kidney and make you very, very ill. It can even spread from there into the bloodstream and cause blood poisoning and things like that. So this is definitely nothing to, um, to mess around with. So, so sometimes, again, some people have symptoms and some people don't.